India is fast evolving like an SUV market. But if you want to make a style statement, there's nothing better than a sedan. Especially a good looking sedan like the Skoda Slavia. This is the second model from the India 2.0 project and it promises to be a powerful and a luxurious sedan. One that will replace the Rapid but it's bigger than that and it will sit under the Octavia and the Superb. We were among the lucky ones to get a closer look and to drive it too. So let's have a closer look now. We got to drive the Skoda Slavia, but in this camouflaged pre-production version. Like the Kushak, it comes with two petrol engines. A 1-litre turbo petrol offered with a 6-speed manual gearbox or a 6-speed torque converter. And there's the 1.5-litre TSI that makes 150 horsepower and comes with a 6-speed manual or a 7-speed DCT. Driving the larger 1.5 TSI is a calmer and a more composed feeling as it builds power so effortlessly. It also conserves fuel by shutting down two cylinders when the engine load is low. Even its 7-speed DCT is quick and intuitive though the manual box did have a prominent step while shifting. But what gets the popular vote is a 115 HP 1 litre engine, especially with the 6 speed torque converter. You instinctively start to push the spirited motor harder and go faster around the bends. Personally, the 1 litre 6 speed manual offered the best combination, though we also drove the more convenient 6 speed torque converter. Staying true to Skoda brand, the right quality and handling remains the highlight for the Slavia. More about it when we get to drive the production model real soon. So we've told you what the pre-production model drives like. And now, it's the global premiere of the Slavia. It's even bigger than the Rapid and even larger than the first generation Octavia. So let's look at it in detail. It really looks like a mini Octavia with the sharp lines, wide stance and coupe-like roofline. This is a pretty elegant and sporty design which buyers will appreciate. There's a larger chrome wrapped grille and sharp LED projector headlamps with daytime running lights. And you get these 16-inch alloy wheels, though 17-inch would have looked cooler. And there's also a decent ground clearance of 179mm. You do get a notchback-like sloping roofline but with a conventional boot lid which opens up a segment leading 521 litre of storage area. Compared to the sleek front, the rear design looks slightly bulky and upright, though the LED lamps and the neat Skoda lettering looks upmarket. Interestingly, there are no badging to differentiate the 1.5 TSI from a smaller sibling. You do get five colors to choose from, including blue, red, white, silver and steel. Cabin also looks well built though there are no soft touch materials here. Yet it looks interesting with different textures and accents. The highlights include a floating touch screen, circular air vents and the unique bronze character line on the dashboard. We found the seats to be large enough and not too low and you can even squeeze three adults on the back seat. And there's Skoda's simply clever elements including things like a phone pocket behind the front seat and an elastic string in the door pocket. Overall, it's a solid, well-executed cabin that suits the segment it's competing in. And coming to the features, there's a decent-sized sunroof, ventilated front seats, touch buttons for the climate control just like the Kushak. Apart from that, there's a new 8-inch digital driver's console and a 8-speaker sound system. All this in a car which is expected to be priced around Rs 10 to 18 lakh range. So it looks like a Skoda, it drives like a proper Skoda, even the fit finish is quite decent. Now the big question is, 
what will it be priced at? That will come to find out in February 2022. And before you go away, here's a little bonus from our side. We caught up with Zach Hollis, Director, Sales and Marketing, Skoda India, and asked him some really important questions. Uh, some brands are writing off sedans uh, from their lineup, and here we are driving a sedan, which is the second model from Skoda from India 2.0 project. Your thoughts? I think, uh, yes, the sedan segment has been reducing in, in recent years, but to me there's been nothing new there. There's been nothing to drive interest in the, in the sedan segment. Lots of people have launched SUVs, but there's nothing new there. And what we will bring here with the Kushak when you finally see the, the final car is a big car. It's actually bigger than the first generation Octavia and a gorgeous looking car. And that, to me, to my mind, will revitalize the sedan segment. We're very confident in this car going forward. And uh, during the presentation, you mentioned this is a premium mid-size sedan. So are we expecting to see it on top of the, the C segment? I think what we've got here is one of the, will be the biggest car in, in the segment. As I said earlier, it's bigger than the first generation Octavia. It is a premium car. It has great TSI engines. So yes, it is a premium sedan in the marketplace. When it comes to your question, which is about price, that you'll have to wait and see. Uh, also, you mentioned something about customer complaints dropping by 55%. So how did you manage to do that? You have to look at why did people complain to understand that. The first thing people complained about was you don't have a service center near me. Yeah, We have doubled the number of service centers in the last two years and we will continue to expand our service centers to make sure we are close to, to, to customers. Then they said your, your dealers are charging too much for, for service and repairs. Yeah, We have reduced the parts of the, the cost of parts, we've reduced the, 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 the cost of um, ownership substantially and with the Slavia and the India 2.0 cars we have 95% localization so therefore we've got local parts supplies as well. And the third thing people have said some of your dealers were not behaving ethically towards us. We have done a thorough job with our dealer network to make sure we have the right long-term partners going forward who deliver on that same vision of customer centricity that I have. And of course, naturally, once we've done that, then, then the complaints have fallen. And uh, talking about Kushak, how, how has the customer feedback been and what's your top selling variant in that? Customer feedback has been absolutely fantastic. People love the driving characteristics of the car, people love the TSI engines, people love the design, and the response has been absolutely fantastic. The ambition variant has been the top selling model, and the ambition variant with the one liter automatic, that I think is the best offering, and that's, what, that's gone really well. So uh, what can we expect in 2022 apart from the Slavia? Right at the start of next year, we will bring back the Kodiak. The Kodiak came out at the end of BS4 and now we'll bring you a BS6 Kodiak. Not only that, but it's the facelifted car. So we're really excited to bring back this big luxury 4x4 to India and to the discerning Indian uh, luxury car buyers. So we're looking forward to that and that will come in January as well. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.